Hey guys, we're gonna make a snow fort with the John Deere 2032R. Yeah, we've got enough snow. We're gonna put it all together, make something nice. Here we go. <laughs> Compactor here. Uh -huh. What we're doing, we're making big uh, blocks the size of this uh, bucket. bucket and making a foundation for a snow fort. So let's see how this does. Okay, let me get this one in. Up there, Zeke. Pack it in, man. <laughs> Get in there, man. Okay, that's probably good. I'll pack it in once I dump it.
So I don't know how <laughs> Zeke is recording here, but I don't know. He just dropped it in the snow. But um, did you see that zero, like that that uh, radius, the turn radius? Man, wasn't that awesome? <laughs> I came up here and it's like it's like a it's kind of like a a pin turn right there. And this the John Deere 2032R, it it acts like a small. You know, not a zero turn, but almost like a zero turn with all the beefiness and power of a big tractor. Man, this is so cool. All right, back to fort building. So we spent some more time out here working on the the snow fort. I don't know. It's oh wow, it's still snowing. The sun's coming out, but we still got some snow coming in. It's totally not cold out here. Yeah, he. We were out here working so hard, he had to take his coat off here. He was doing a lot of the kind of the shaping there at the beginning, as I was, you know, um, bringing the loads of snow in from the tractor or with the tractor. And these guys were doing some work too. We were doing snowball fighting. More snowball. Yeah, more of a snowball fighting a little bit. But hey, it's still pretty cool. So. How cold is it out here? And I'm. I, it's like 20 something. Huh? It's like 22, 23, something like that. I tried to avoid getting as much rock as I could, but of course there's a lot of rock. We're going to have to do some raking um, on, the gr on the ground here in the spring before we start mowing to get some of the rock out of here. But here it is. We, uh, we hit the dog. With, a, with more time, actually I got a lot, of, I still have some more snow on the driveway, but yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. Yeah, let's not hit the dog with the snowballs, please. All right, so from this angle here, you can see how we've shaped the walls. Uh, Zeke, go stand inside there. So it's, we put it on the corner here, so it has a kind of nice little outpost feel to it. It'd be if so I cool if we can get higher, knees. but. See, if I go on my knees, or even full, I can barely filled feel. out so we can, you know, make an igloo out of it or something, you know? Hey, there's a little crack. There's a little crack. Yeah, well, sadly, we've got, um, mm -hmm. we've got some warm weather coming next week. It'd be cool if we had one more week of snow and cold weather. Just one more. But anyways, yeah, that's, that's that. us and everybody else is like, be done with it. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. And we kind of leveled it off to where if you look at the top here, it's lower. It's a taller wall, but it kind of levels off with the back a little bit there. So. This is how I love this now. Let's see what we have left here on the driveway. So I got to... Dude... <laughs> I've got, I got a little bit more snow to kind of clear out here, but <laughs> a little more. there it is. And then there's a meat truck. Yeah. I love to go more. Oh wait, neighbor's out. Yep. All right, so that was fun. We didn't have, I mean, this has been the most snow we've had in a long time in this area of the country. And it was really cool to be able to get out here. We would not have been able to make that size of a fort uh, just ourselves. So being able to tr drag in and load in with the front end loader there, the front end bucket on the John Deere 2032R was 
super helpful to get the amount of snow there to get those walls in the way that uh, we need to get there. So anyway, so this is how you do it with a John Deere 2032R, building a fort in the middle of winter. Yeah! <laughs> Keep on tracking! Woo!